there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play with these goodies for Scrapbook Boutique. I had a heap of fun a couple of weeks ago making a more traditional card with this beautiful die and you just saw it in the, the last clip there. And this time I wanted to go something a little bit more pretty and girly uh, and I really wanted to use this beautiful Nouveau Glimmer Paste that I had staring me in the face. So. That is sort of where my inspiration came from for this card today. I used the purplish coloured glimmer paste and chose my cardstock colours to play nicely with that. So first up here you see me just getting my played stencil all pasted down or, or stuck down in place on top of my cardstock. And then with my palette knife, I'm spreading my Nouveau Tanzanite Lavender Glimmer Paste all over the played stencil. I'm being very careful to get quite an even coverage. And there are open diamond sections on the played stencil. So I'm really trying to make sure that, that I get good coverage on those open larger areas and of course you've got the little stripes there so I'm just trying to cover. I do wish looking back at this now that see that big stripe on the right hand of my stencil there I do wish that I'd paid a bit, a bit more attention to that and um, smoothed that down a bit because I do have to do it later once I peel the stencil up because it does leave what I felt was quite a defined line on that diamond area there. But anyway, we do manage to sort that out without too many dramas. So I'm just removing my painter's tape and then gently peeling up the stencil. And it has left a great impression. I've got some removable tape just holding it in place. I'm just lifting it up from that and that will just rub off later once it's all dry. And here's the little bit I'm I was talking about where it was just a little bit too dark and defined and I just had to blend it a little carefully there um, just to sort of blend those that um, glimmer paste in a little bit more. All right so now on to the die cutting and these are all the pieces from the beautiful Cheery Lynn Brad the Reindeer die set and as I said I've chosen lots of purples and pinks and I'm even going to use that little sample piece there where I tried out the glimmer paste just so I'd know exactly what color I was trying to match up to. So I've laid out all my die cut pieces, popped them all on my cutting plate. I'm cutting the second antler here just by popping it through again on the other side of the cardstock so I'm going to get the textured look again and just cutting here with my little fingertip craft knife. It's quite a thick little bit of card there with the glimmer paste on top so the die cut didn't quite make it all the way through. So just helping it along there with my craft knife making sure it's all going to lie together. And just doing a little practice run here working out where everything's going to go making sure I'm happy with all those colors together before I adhere it all on my card. Now this is how it's all going to look. Nothing is stuck down yet but that's what I'm up to now in the process just adhering my dried stenciled panel first and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Then I have this pink cardstock piece which I'm backing with some craft foam for a bit of extra dimension. Adhering that with my liquid glue and then Brad I'm not sure he is Brad today. Maybe Brangelina might be uh, better. <laughs> um, she is going to go on the top. It would be a perfect card for uh, a young girl or a, a lady friend, girlfriend. You know, I'm sure they'd appreciate those gorgeous colours. So I was having a bit of difficulty working out what sentiment I was going to add until I had a flick through the gorgeous little doodle bug here comes Santa Claus paper pad and I found this little pink sentiment strip 
that says Merry and Bright repeatedly and I thought it would be perfect just down the bottom underneath Brangelina. So I do add some foam tape to the back of that and I pop it up on the base there of the card and it works really well to give me a nice sentiment that blends well with the colours of the reindeer and ties everything together. To finish off my card today, I really wanted to add some shine and sparkle to Brangelina's antlers. So I did a little test run with all my glimmers and glitters and glitter glues and so on as you can see on this piece here and then I decided I was going to use the Distress Stickles glitter glue and that's what you see me applying here to the antlers and I do love the effect that it gives. It makes it look like he, Brangelina's had a nice little bit of uh, wander through the snow and got some nice sparkly little highlights on her antlers and it does just finish off my card beautifully today. <music> 